Welcome to Tuscaloosa, Alabama, where legends are made and titles are won. Bryant Denny Stadium, home of the Alabama Crimson Tide. This is not your run-of-the-mill regular season game. Instead, it is a top 10 clash. One team hoping to make a giant statement. As we'll see, the number three team in the country, the Texas Longhorns, taking on the sixth-ranked team in the land, the Alabama Crimson Tide. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. game underway. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Caught over the middle. It's Bond. That one could really put this drive into high gear as they have a first down at the 37. Bird Orange burning some secondaries working this guy down the field. Yeah, and making those big plays down the field. Texas, when you think about great teams, you think about explosive playmakers making those big plays, keeping those defenses on their heels. He'll get rid of it. It's caught downfield. Defense needs to regroup as he gets it down to the 26. And how about taking a big chunk out of this defense on the opening drive? And with the speed they have on the perimeter, Reese, no doubt. They want to come out here and test this secondary, test these. A shot for the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Texas. Touchdown. Man, really nice job attacking the middle of the field. You see those safeties, man. I want to split them. He splits it right down the middle, throws that post right on the numbers, catches the ball in the end zone. Touchdown. The AT unit on the field. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish the deal with a 26-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Line gets set, first down. He'll pull it on the read. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And it's difficult to contain athletic quarterbacks, but man, when everybody plays their assignment, it's a beautiful thing. I understand I got to take away this. I got to keep my eyes on the quarterback, make sure he doesn't pull that football. They weren't fooled, and the quarterback had nowhere to go with it. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Looking down the left side. And the pass hits, picked off. At the 40, there he goes. And after making the interception, a terrific return to put his offense in great field position at the 42. Well, the defense comes up with a huge play here in the first half. They did a great job getting the QB to move, and then they rallied to a football and an ill-advised throw. They come away with the takeaway. Their offense now is going to have the ball in the opponent's territory. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Man, the defense, you hold your breath. When this receiver has the football out in space, you have got to make sure you're playing with outstanding pursuit. Nice job there, but as this game goes on, you've got to keep an eye on this guy and make sure they know where he is at all times. And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved. 
myself and I'm on defense because it messes with the snap count, it messes with the communication, and it can really rattle an offense. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up with the pass. And the quarterback will be slung down back at the 43. Give the defense tons of credit. They were not fooled. Everybody thought that was going to be a run play, but the defense didn't. They pinned their ears back. They got upfield, and they got to the quarterback. The Longhorns will try to pick it up on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Snag in the end zone. Touchdown, Longhorns. A lot of times you see those receivers, as soon as they get by the DBs, you know, that hand goes straight up in the air. I got him. I got to step on him. He got to step on him, and the ball was thrown perfectly out in front. You could see he runs underneath it gets it and gets the long touchdown on the go route. He'll try to tack on one more. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they close the deal from 43 yards out with a touchdown pass. Here he comes from inside his own five. They got him in the end zone for a safety. Just an inexplicable lapse of judgment to go back into his own end zone. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. On the move, it's Bolden. North is tackled down at the 26, and the Texas offense will take over first and 10. The offense set for a first down play. He's looking to throw it right down the middle. Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. Man, that's a tough play to make. When you're that far down the field and you've, you're trying to control your body and run as you're laying out, that's a really great effort, really good concentration, and that is how you make your quarterback look really good. Unloads it left. He's got it. Good execution. They move the sticks, and they've got it at the 33. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. you got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. Texas, 16. We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. And that's just nice patience and a great route. One-on-one, -on -one, working the defender, taking his time, getting out of his break, locating the football, and making the catch just in time and bang. The Longhorns have it with a first and goal. Wide receiver shows motion. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. Touchdown, Texas! And they made it to the house when they found that six points waiting on them. How about the day for this young fella? Three receiving touchdowns. Hey, defense, that guy's good. We might want to do something about it. Let's send two at him. Let's send three at him. We can't let this guy continue to beat us time and time again. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. It was capped off by a one-yard touchdown pass. On the run from inside his own five. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. The tied offense rolls onto the field. They just haven't been able to get anything going, and they'd better get started or it's going to get a win. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. And a great job by the defense, dropping in zone coverage, all eyes on the quarterback, taking away the options, and then the, finally the pass rush gets home, gets him on the ground. 
He'll slither through and pick up three and get it out to the 10-yard line. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense in He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's coming. No sign of the punt team as they will go for it and try to move those chains. Throws for the tight end. He makes a catch. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Alabama with a first and ten here. Here we go. Used the play fake. Now to throw. Gets it out fast. That's some old school, hard nosed, tough running as he powers his way to the 30. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two minute warning. Quickly complete. And they do a really good job, not as easy as it looks, to get those blocks. And he picks up the first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. The aerial assault continues. Incomplete, and man, is he lucky to get that one back defense that close to an interception. This quarterback is living dangerously now. Threw a pick earlier in the game, and he almost threw another one right there. These windows are tight. He's got to be really good with his decision. This time it's complete. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Comes out throwing on first down. Working the middle. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. A big game there as they did a tremendous job working the middle of the field. Yeah, and if you're going to complete that throw, Reese, quarterbacks have got to play with anticipation. You've got to get it out of your hands early and give your receiver an opportunity before the defense gets to the ball. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Well, there was really nowhere to go for the quarterback with that football. He's just trying to check it down to his running back, and the defense was there, and they made the play. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, Crimson Tide! Nice job on this offense. Put the scoring drive together. And now listen, it's not even halftime yet. So keep fighting. Um, you know, going to halftime, regroup. We found a little something, something on this drive. See if we can cut into this lead and continue to make this game closer and closer. Lining up to add another. Right down the boulevard. A lot of time left to line up for an onside kick. I mean, you're risking giving up really good field position. They'd hope to get that thing bouncing around, but the hands team is able to corral it. And you don't see a lot of these. You don't see a lot of onside kicks earlier in the game, especially in the second quarter. You still feel each other out. You're still getting into the game. You don't want to give away that momentum, but that's exactly what they did. Unleashes one deep. He makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Longhorns! This dude is lighting it up for the horns, and some old-school horn fans starting to think about that 500-yard four touchdown day Vince Young had against Oklahoma State. And bringing back great memories, and there's been some good runs at quarterback. You think about Colt McCoy, too, man. He put up some serious numbers, some serious wins. Can this be the next guy to catapult this offense to bring Texas back to prominence? Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Here comes that Alabama offense. Boy, they've been caught in a buzzsaw here in the first half, but maybe a chance to carry some momentum into the break here. He's got it on the left. He's into the open down the middle. And he slipped through the crowd, and he'll house it. Touchdown tie. Man, nice job getting the passing game going. This, this is big, man. Going to the half. And listen, I know you're trailing, but building some momentum. Maybe this second half we can keep airing the football out, cutting into this deficit, and who knows what the heck will happen. Lining up for the PAT. Is on for the extra point. 
And it's up and good. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. So they got the touchdown now, going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. And they desperately wanted to attempt to return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. The Longhorns sending the offense back onto the field. They've got time. They've got the lead. And David is sort of like a doctor. First, do no harm. Do no harm, but also momentum is hard to create and sometimes hard to stop. You have it, so Jesse, don't do anything stupid to create some momentum for the other side. I think a lot of this comes down to your quarterback and whether or not he's making good decisions in this game. If yes, be aggressive. If not, let's just take the lead into halftime and get ready for the second half. They got him free for a big gainer down to the 43. The Longhorns want to move quickly. Trying to find his man on first down. Connection to the right. Ripping off a good chunk inside the 25, and they're set up with a first down. And the Longhorns come to the line with a new set of downs. Wants to throw on first down. Oh, he drops the football. He had it right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. That's what I'm talking about. That is how you close. And when a guy's going to make a catch, you make sure he doesn't make it. Physicality, using your pads, running through him. And guess what? Not only this play does he feel it, next time he tries to go over the middle or feels footsteps, this will pay dividends. They were really starting to put a drive together. After a couple of incompletions, now they need a big play on third and ten. Fires left. Another incompletion on third down. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look. They're third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Three straight misfires has left them staring at fourth and ten, but they'll try it again. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Hit as he throws. That ball never had a chance, and they'll turn it over on downs. You know, offensively in that situation, fourth down, you're throwing for it. Everything has to go right, or someone just needs to be able to make a play to keep the drive alive. They couldn't get it done, and now the offense is coming off the field. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Picked off. Trying to take it back. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Scanning the field, it's Ewers. Going for it all. It's complete! One snap coming before they head to the locker room. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. One more snap coming before halftime. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. So with only seconds left in the half, here comes the field goal unit. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. And as a holder hits his spot, it'll be a 25-yard attempt. And with just a few seconds remaining here in the first half, they'll try to kick a field goal. Absolutely perfect. 
And now the lead is even bigger. Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one. And all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all over the field to all different receivers, to his tight ends, to his running backs. Really has the ability to spread it around. And now over 300 yards. Still some time left. And he can put up even bigger numbers. And heck, go chase some awards. Man. Get some postseason awards. Get an All-American. Just put up a day. The tied offense rolls onto the field. They come into this third quarter with a lot of work they need to get done. Yeah, and it starts with this possession. And, and I'm, I'm going piece by piece. I know this is coach speak and very simple. I score. I can stop. I score. I can get back in this game, but it's got to be one drive at a time. It's going to have to be, but I think the mindset offensively is we're probably going to have to score every time we get it because our defense has been struggling. They have not been getting a lot of stops. So this is a critical drive here for this offense. Oh, big fella almost had a pick right there. Instead, it falls incomplete. Here we go. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down or else they are really in trouble. Throws to the wideout. Got his man downfield. Can anyone catch him? And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route runner, and a big play there. And money down, third down, fine. I mean, you want to find that matchup because he's going to win. And gets a good release, gets down the field. You see, his that's your playmaker, that's your guy. Get it to him, get the first down. Wants to throw. It's Milrow. Oh, goes right through his hands. And he will think about that one for a while. It'll be third down. You're not going to see that happen too often. The quarterback, man, he was licking his chops. He saw a big space in the middle of the field. He had his best receiver there ready to make a play, and he dropped it. Got some room headed to the goal line. Touchdown, Alabama! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. It's a phenomenal effort on third down by the QB, but how about the blocking? When that play broke down, look at the receivers running routes. They all of a sudden turned around, and they went and got some blocks to help out their QB. You've got to love that. And the extra point is good. So that scoring drive took only six plays, and they finished it with a beautiful 15-yard run for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Fielded in the end zone. It's Bolden. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. So now the Longhorns take over, and they'll send out the offense. They had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. He's got it down the left. And the explosiveness, the big gainer, gets it to the 49-yard line. Hookham is hooking up with some big plays in the passing game. Yeah, finding their guys down the field. You, you think about offenses that Texas usually have, some form of spread, and then find those elite guys on the outside that can win those matchups for you and make those big plays. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. Wonder if they'll throw it again after the incompletion. Second and ten from the 49. Give to the running back. They almost got a first down there. Stopped a yard short. It'll be third down. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next time. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. And boy, is he close to that first down. Maybe just a couple of inches short. 
Man, and you see those sticks, and you're like, dude, third and short. I just got to fall forward and get the first down, Palmer. But the defense comes up big and gets the stop. So on offense, don't overthink this one. Fourth and inches, just line up, something easy. You know you can execute in your sleep and go keep this drive going. They're bringing heat. And they got him. A sack denies the try to convert on fourth down. Offense set on first down. Looking to move it through the air. Throws to the tight end. Complete downfield. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Gets it out quickly. He stops him at the 31, but not before. He picks up 10 yards on the play. The transition of Alabama quarterbacks over the years has been fascinating from the dreaded game manager label to playmaker. To playmaker, to spread it out, to Heisman winner. I mean, that's how much this offense has changed and evolved, and they're going to be aggressive, and they're going to score points in this new age era. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Dropping back, it's Milro. He's got his man. Tackled immediately after the catch. A third down play to get the quarter started. From the gun, wants to pass. Grabbed in the middle, it's Prentice. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. The tide with the first and ten. Now from inside the red zone. Got his man in the middle. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. These guys are called matchup guys. They're not the biggest guys on the field, but they're going to win short, and they're going to catch the ball, and they're going to make yards after the catch. You can tell those are the type of guys in college football who are starting to get maximized and used a lot more than they were in the past. But that pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. He wants to throw it again. Moves around to clear up the vision. Touchdown, Bama! And here they come, almost all the way back. Oh, Uncle Mo has changed sidelines. Look out, brother. Here's what happens, right? Something happens, gets you close in the ball game. The defense needs to come out here, get a stop, get that ball back to the offense. Oh, Uncle Mo on your side. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. And here come the horns. They've got it again on offense. That last drive was promising at times, but stalled out and they turned it over on downs, Jesse. I think they got to do a better job here, just being better early in the downs. On first down, finding positive points. Yeah, and it's frustrating when you move the football and get stopped on the other side of the field and get no points. But they've had some success, and I like the aggressiveness. They just got to cash some of these drives in. Back to throw. It's Ewers. Setting up the screen. At the 35, he's got more. And he is marked out of bounds after another big game. This aerial attack has had no problem moving the ball with chunk plays. Just nosing into enemy territory at the 49. It's first and 10. Used to play fake. Now to throw. Trying to burn this defensive back. And he's got it inside the 25. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. That's the way you get things going. A huge play and now attacking from just inside the red zone. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. And he was looking into the end zone, but it's incomplete. This quarterback is having a day, man. And right there, he was looking for touchdown pass number five. He has been dialing it up, 
He's been throwing strikes. We haven't seen him miss very much like he did just there, but what a game this dude is having. On second down, wants to throw it. Coming after him. Oh, he's going backwards in trouble and down. He goes a tremendous loss. And the defense gets him on the ground for the fourth time today, by the way. They've pressured him. He's still done an unbelievable job. Make Deep shot for the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Texas. This dude is just slicing and dicing this defense into little tiny pieces. Carving him up, completely comfortable, knows exactly what he's getting, had so much success today. you got to find a way to make these quarterbacks feel more uncomfortable. And they did tack on the extra point. The kickoff team out there to boot it away and 15 yards farther up the field after the roughing the kicker penalty. No chance for a return as that ball flies out of the back of the end zone. First down here for the offense. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Caught near the sideline. It's Prentice. I know you want to take what the defense gives you, but at this point, you have to push the ball downfield a little more, David. Yeah, and that's exactly what the defense wants you to do. Check the football down. That's what they're going to give you. But we need scores. Down multiple scores. Got to push the ball down the field. Take more chances. But that one falls incomplete. Trying to get a chunk play on that one. Yeah, and I think you know the situation as a defender, and you know you're up by a score, and you know exactly what's going on with the offense. They got to make some big plays here in the fourth quarter. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. Two minutes now left in this one, and time is running short if they want to find a way to pull this one out. Down by multiple possessions. You can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. And not much of a fourth down gamble when it's that much of a sure thing. An easy conversion for this offense. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock and they'll get a quick breather. They'll throw it on first down. Unloads to the wideout. He's got an open man. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. To the air, it's Milrow. Oh, he had him right down the middle, and he just squirted right through his fingers, and they miss an opportunity for a nice play on first down. Line getting set on second down. Looking to throw it again. Slips away. Fires to the wideout. A beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. Hey, you know, the defense here in this situation with a huge lead, they've got to anticipate that this offense is going to be trying to throw the ball to the sideline, so they've got to work different coverages to try to force the quarterback to go over the middle of the field with the football. Makes the catch. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. And the comeback is on. Listen, still a ways to go, but great job by this offense getting you back in the ball. Now, we got a one-possession game. We've got our score. We did what we're supposed to do. Now, how do we get this stop? Now, the defense has to come up big and get me the rock back. So, just over 90 seconds to go, and this game's probably going to come down to whether they can recover this onside kick. Everybody's got different philosophies. Some people kick onsides every single time. You go for the big play, try to create some momentum for your team, but they failed. A nice job covering the kick, seeing the football off the kicker's foot, securing it, getting on the ground, and making sure your offense retains the football. We're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. A handoff, keep working on that clock. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Oh, look out, the ball's free. And the defense grabs it, and they're taking it the other way. And in for the score. What a turn as they take the lead. Oh, man, the defense has just turned this game upside down with that 
score. Dude, just take matters into your own hands. Like, I I'll take care of this. I'm not even going to take this. I'm going to score points. I'm going to try to go ahead and ice this game away. The defense is still going to have to come back on the field. An unbelievable job just taking matters into its own hands. The kickoff team just about set to go, and that defense is eager to get back out there after the scoop and score. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Here comes the Texas offense back on the field. They'll start this drive with a pass. Finds the tight end. Got room at the 35. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Where's the defense on that last play? It's a two-minute situation. You've got the guy making the catch in the middle of the field. You've got to tackle him in bounds and keep this clock moving. Somehow they were able to let him get outside to stop the clock. That and it's intercepted. A turnover from the defense. Takes it the other way. He is finally out of bounds, but he was smelling that end zone on that return. It's such a fine line offensively. Late in the game, you've got to score, you've got to make big plays, but you can't turn the football over. Big time mistake, this one might cost him. Out of the gun, the running back has it. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass, make him onto the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. They'll give it to the back. And he's almost to that point. 